Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial of SiteGround. My name is Mauricio and today I will help you with the error mixed content. Let's begin. This problem happens when your website has installed an SSL certificate but somehow is still loading one or more assets using an insecure protocol like either HTTP 1 or 1.1. So how can we solve this problem? SiteGround optimizer for WordPress or Joomla. If the problem comes from a website made with WordPress or Joomla, you can install our plugin called SiteGround Optimizer. Once the plugin is installed and activated, click the Environment Optimization tab and make sure the first option, Enable HTTPS and Fix Insecure Content, are active. Then reload the website and check if the error is solved. Fix it with WPCLI commands. In order to use WPCLI commands, you will need to have access to your server via SSH. If you haven't done it yet, follow the instructions of this article in order to prepare your computer. You can also find the link of the article in the description of this video. Once you are connected to your server, go to the WordPress folder and run this command. This instruction will replace all the existing HTTP strings with HTTPS. After running the command, try again to reload your website and check if the error is solved. Solution for websites made with Elementor. If your site is made with the Elementor plugin, follow these steps that might help you with the mixed content problem. First of all, go to Elementor's Tools and then click on the Replace URL tab. On the form, enter the original URL and then the same URL but with the HTTPS protocol. Then click Replace URL. Once you receive the success message, go to the General tab, Regenerate CSS and click Regenerate Files. Reload your website and make sure the problem is solved. Solution for websites made with Divi. If the website is built using the Divi plugin, you will need to clear its cache. To do so, go to Divi, Theme Options, Builder, Advanced, and then clear the static CSS file generation. If the problem persists, try to clear other caches as well. If you have installed SiteGround Optimizer, click on the Purge SiteGround Cache button in the top bar of your WordPress admin area. For other cache plugins or services, read the documentation on how to proceed. If you find that these solutions are hard to implement, we recommend you to contact a developer or agency who can help you to solve the problem. Take a look at our SiteGround partners offering WordPress development services. They can help you with this and many other web-related problems. I leave the link to this page in the description of the video. I hope this video helped you to solve the problem. If so, consider subscribing to our channel to learn more about our tools and much more content we have prepared for you. Thank you and good luck.